So in a previous video, I took a look at the part one of the Persona Sphere collaboration workflow. And what we did there is we basically just uploaded a song to Persona Sphere. It hasn't been shared with anybody yet in terms of for collaboration, but it is sitting in a folder that I've shared with another artist that I work with. So technically speaking, uh, as long as he is on version six, he should be able to open that session and work on it and go back and forth. So I had a quick Zoom call with him just right now and I was explaining to him because he asked me, what's that song that you put in? And I was explaining it to him. So he asked me something. He made a really valid point and he said, okay, that's awesome. Um, and then he said, what about the, what about for any reason, uh, if I wanted to get it remastered, what about, for example, your final mix that got sent off to mastering and the loud version? I don't see any other folders besides the song folder. Okay, so that's a really good point. And I think it's also a really good real world example because I did a save to new folder. When you do a save to new folder, it's basically creating a brand new song from scratch. Now, what that will include is the song file, the media folder and the cache folder. But keep in mind that if you had, for example, samples or other files that you dragged in from other locations, it's basically collecting all of those audio files and it's placing them in the media folder. So it's giving you a nice clean session. That being said, what he was saying does kind of make a little bit of sense in terms of if we look at the version that I uploaded, I have a lot of other folders here and these are actually folders that I created. So I have final prints, uh, for example, I have mixed down and then I have stems, lots of different folders here. So at the very minimum, what he asked me for was basically, I would love um, to have the, the final mix that went out to mastering and your loud version of your mix, just, just for really good, for, for kind of like for archiving purposes. Now, one thing I want to mention is that if I would have manually moved those folders into the song before I did the sync. So for example, I did a save to new folder. It created a new song file. It gave me a new cache folder and a new media folder. If I wanted my final mixes or stem exports or anything, if I wanted those to be part of that upload, if I did a save to new folder, if I would have just option or alt drag those into the new song folder, they would have uploaded with the initial upload of Sphere. But I think this gives us, um, like I said, kind of like a good real world example because now I want to do this manually and I want to take a look at how to do this. So. I've got the exact same song open, and if we click the workspace folder that this song was shared to, we could click this and we could open this, but I already have this workspace open in Persona Sphere in my actual browser. So what I wanna do here is kinda of go over the basics in terms of how we can do some work in the browser backend if we wanted to make some changes. And also before I do that, let's expand this, and also we'll expand this folder, and we'll make sure that this is refreshed so we're looking at the latest version of this. So the idea is that we want to go into the browser and we want to include two mixes. We want to include a folder. I can rename the folder whatever I want, but we want to include these two, which I have indicated in a green little circle here to just indicate that these are my finals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the main folder over here, and then I'm going to create a folder. And let's call this, we're going to use the same naming structure that I use. We're going to call this final mixes, and we're going to choose create. So we've created a folder now from within the back end of the browser. And now if I were to refresh this, you'll see here final mixes, but we don't have anything in it. One thing I want to point out is I was really hoping that I could upload two folders at once by using the upload, but I think this is something that we're seeing continuous um, improvements upon, and hopefully this is something that gets added for now. But for now, we need to add the folder manually, and then I'm going to click from within inside, and then we're gonna upload a file. Now I'm going to click choose file, and I've already navigated to this section over here, so I'm gonna choose this. So we're gonna do these one at a time. We're gonna initiate an upload. I can enter a description. Which one is this here? Um, mix 1.0D for mastering. This is what was sent out to mastering. So I can give some type of description. We're gonna do an upload. Now you can see this upload in this green little status area over here as this file is uploading. And then as soon as this one is done, we're going to upload the other file. Okay, so that upload is complete. Now if I come back into this folder over here 
and I was to refresh this, notice now that this file is available and it's, we can see this in Studio One. So let's go back to the browser and we're going to upload one more file. We'll choose file. This time it's going to be the loud version of my mix. I always include a loud version of my mix because I want somebody to hear this with its intended target LUFS, which might be minus 12 or it might be minus nine. I have no clue, but usually I will pull off my limiter when it goes to mastering. And sometimes if I'm doing something really specific, I might even send the mastering engineer my, my actual preset of FabFilter Pro L2 just so that they can use that as a starting point and then tweak it to better suit. But we're gonna click upload again. And then I can say, this is the loud version of my mix with a limiter on it. Okay, we will upload this now. Okay, brilliant. So now, in terms of this actual song file, we've done some work in the back end of Sphere where we manually created a folder and we uploaded a couple different files. And if I was to now refresh this, Let's, I'll refresh the final mixes folder. Now you can see that we have two different files. So let's say that they were working in a brand new session and they knew the BPM and they just wanted to import my two mix for whatever reason, just to use it for an example or if they needed to use it for a live show or and they wanted to add it to a show, whatever. If they go to the cloud tab over here and they were to drag and drop this into the timeline, they'd be able to get my final mix. And like I said, this is part two of, I have no clue how many parts the series is going to be, but this is just the basics of, we have just added uh, a folder manually in a browser that has been synced to Studio One, and this is available in the Studio One browser, and we have just added these two manually. Ideally, in the future, I would really like to see the ability to, for example, go into this main folder like we're doing over here, and then to be able to upload files, plural, and to be able to choose, for example, two folders at the same time, and to be able to upload them, and they will just go to the proper location that I want them to be in. Um, also, I need to experiment with what happens when, if I was to try to do some dragging and dropping to uh, from within the actual browser, if I wanted to add some songs or add some files and see how that works with the sync. And also, we are going to explore the uh, receive part of the collaboration aspect of Persona Sphere. So anyways, that is making changes to shared collaboration files, full songs, in the browser, and then having them available in the Studio One browser for if you need to make any changes after you have already uploaded a song. Anyways, I hope that you found this video useful and I will catch you for more in the next one. Cheers.